Welcome back to eCore Academy, everyone. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Anitha Raj, and I am one of the co-founders and teachers here, along with my younger brother, AJ Raj. This video is super special because it's where I'm going to be announcing the launch of a new series, a new section of the platform we're going to have at eCore Academy. And this section is what we're going to be calling research-based studies. So we're super excited to be launching it to the public. So stay tuned uh, because in this video, I'm going to be introducing you all to what you should expect from this new section. But before I even get into this video, uh, please do the following so that you can show your support for eCore Academy as a platform. Remember to like the video, subscribe to our channel, hit the post notification bell, drop a comment down below, and share using all of your socials. So first of all, you might be wondering, what is this new section even about? Why is Anita talking about it? Well, let me let me give you all the information. This is, again, a relatively new section, and we're going to be titling it Research-Based Studies. So that's what this new section is going to be called. So before I even get into that, I just want to remind you all that hopefully you've seen some of our videos. Hopefully you're a student who's using our material, and hopefully you've seen that eCore Academy is a pretty in-depth platform. We try to take it to the next level. Yes, we go over the fundamentals you learn in class, but we do try to expand upon that as much as possible. This can include enrichment problems, real life scenarios, et cetera. So that's the whole concept of eCore Academy. It's an enrichment platform. This new section called research-based studies is really just a step beyond that, a level above that, we're, because in this section, we're going even more in depth we're going to be going specifically in more depth about a certain area, a certain field of study, uh, etc. So that's the purpose of this section. Let's break down exactly what research-based studies actually mean. So these videos that you're going to be seeing after this introduction video, obviously, are all going to be centered around one fundamental research question. You might be wondering, what's a research question? Well, if you've never written like an official paper for class or you've never been part of a class that has been do that has done a lot of research, especially if you're not a high school student yet, a research question is pretty much when you start a project and your teacher gives you a lot of flexibility as in you're allowed to research any topic you want. A research question as a researcher is something you're going to propose and then you're going to find information about this topic so that you can answer the question with your own conclusions. So in these videos, like I said, they're all going to be based upon a research question that the presenter is going to be asking, and then the presenter is going to be showing you information he or she has collected um, to answer this research question. And exactly what I just said. So first, the research question will be posed, and then you'll see all this information, all this research, all this work, and pretty much a whole study that has been developed by a presenter so that you, they can pass on their research to students who are coming to our platform, such as yourself. So together as a presenter, as a researcher, and as students who are watching this video, we're gonna be looking at these major fields and areas of studies. And essentially we're gonna be delving deeper and trying to find answers to either controversial or difficult questions that we pose about life, about society around us, about, again, these major fields of study. And you might be wondering, what exactly should I expect from these videos? Research is a pretty broad topic, so these videos are just going to be focused, to, focused on a multifaceted fields and topics. Some videos might talk about things like the environment, some videos might talk about um, current events, things like that. So here are just some topics you can expect uh, from this new research-based studies uh, section. First of all, you can expect topics such as people of influence and people who have accomplished great things in their respective fields. You might be wondering, how is this different from our Meet the Champ section? Well, Meet the Champs is where we're pretty much going to be interviewing people. But in research-based studies, whenever we bring up a person, it's mostly because we've actually done studies on them. Um, we're studying them. We're not really talking to them. We're looking at the work they've done and how they've contributed to a specific field. In addition, here are some other topics you can expect. You can expect business, crime and law, education, environment, health, media and communications, politics, psychology, religion, women and gender studies, and honestly, just society as a whole. These topics can range anywhere from a specific person to a specific issue to a current event to a historical event. Honestly, anything that has piqued um, interest from a research point of view. So 
honestly, at the end of the day, you still might be asking yourself, what exactly should you be expecting from this section? As in, what are the videos going to look like? Because as you can tell, this section is really unique. We really don't have anything like this on eCore Academy yet. So th these videos are pretty much going to be consisting of a speaker or a presenter such as myself in this video, but they're going to casually just introduce you to their research questions. Um, they're going to have prepared their research questions, have compiled all of their research, have organized it into a nice presentation for you, and then actually show that presentation to you through our platform. So they're going to be showing, introducing you casually to their research question. And then afterwards, they'll just walk you through all of the research that they've done, all of the sources they've compiled, all of the exact quotes and statistics that they found that can help them come up with an answer so that you, along with the person who's presenting, can probably try to come up with a a, a new opinion, a new perspective, or even come up with an answer to that research question. So that together as a student community, we can reach our own conclusions about these controversial or difficult issues that we see maybe um, in our everyday life, in society, or maybe even issues that have occurred in the past that carry on. Just issues or subjects that have a really profound impact on our lives, our society, our world around us. And these videos are gonna be structured similar to our lessons as in there's gonna be like a presentation format, except it's not like we're gonna be lecturing you during a regular lesson. These presentations are mainly going to be used to show you things like quotes, citations from specific sources, the reputable sources that were used themselves, and then graphics, all to help better your understanding, all to help keep you engaged during the presentation. These videos should be about 20 to 30 minutes in length. We don't wanna bore you and we don't wanna overdo it ourselves. We just wanna keep these short and simple, but also convey all the information to you and really convey our points about what did we research? Uh, how did we research this? What is the conclusion we've come to? So that's pretty much it for the research-based study section. And overall, I am so excited and honored to be the one who's introducing this section to all of you. Ecore Academy loves launching new sections. We love expanding and exploring new areas. And hopefully you as students find this little um, little diversion from the, your regular academic courses really exciting, really enjoyable. So this section is really just gonna include our passion. We're gonna be doing research on obviously subjects that we enjoy, subjects we wanna learn more about. It's also gonna consist of our hard work, the hard work we've put into researching and compiling this research. And at the end of the day, it's mostly gonna consist of our opinions, um, factually based opinions, uh, let's keep it at that, but opinions nonetheless, because as students, we all have very, very unique perspectives. And instead of just keeping them to ourselves, let's, let's actually share them with each other, collaborate, and make this a true community experience through this new research-based studies sections by talking to our fellow students. If you'd like to see more uh, videos from this section on research-based studies, please, please support our platform by doing the following. Please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the post notification bell, drop a comment down below, and share using all our socials. I'd also like to add that even if you're not part of our eCore Academy uh, curator community, as in you're not part of the people, you're not one of the main authors here on the platform, like the teachers, you, the new teachers, new faces you've been seeing, that's perfectly fine. But if you have a study you have done or some research or a video presentation you've made on research, please feel free to just share it with us. You can contact, you can contact us using our Gmail in the description box below, ecoreacademy at gmail.com. We also have a bunch of social media platforms. Any way that's comfort for, comfortable for you, you can reach out to us and tell us, hey, I've done this study or hey, I've done this research and I'd like to share it with your, uh, with your community. We would love to hear from even more students all over the world, honestly, because again, we're gonna be sharing our research, our perspectives, all the thing, all the hard work we've put into to answer these research questions in this new section. Overall, I hope you all stay tuned for this new section. Have a great day and I'll see you in the first video. Bye.